Hello there, my name is Gary Sims from Android Authority. Now, if you're like me, when you hear the word HDR, you think about that special mode in your camera that allows you to take uh, better photos, brings out the colors more vividly, finds the details in the shadows. Well, actually HDR is not only for capturing images, it's also for displaying images. So the question before us today is, what is a HDR display and how does it work? Well, let me explain. So HDR stands for High Dynamic Range, and the idea is that it gives you a display that gives you more vibrant colors, greater brightness, greater contrast, and therefore just a better picture on your smartphone. Now there are different competing standards, different competing ideas about exactly what HDR means and whether a display qualifies to be called a HDR display, but really there are three important ingredients. The first is the brightness. The display has to be able to offer a high level of brightness. And the reason for that is because actually it wants to have a good level of contrast. Now contrast is the difference between the brightest pixel on the screen and the darkest pixel on the screen. So obviously the brighter you can get the screen and the blacker you can get the blacks, then the greater the contrast. Now brightness and contrast together give that kind of sharpness that you want to a display. Now once you have a bright display with good contrast, the next thing you need is some vivid colors. Now colors are just made on our smartphone displays using a combination of red, green and blue, RGB. And each uh, of those colors, the reds, the green and the blues, are given eight bits of information. So that's 256 types of red, 256 types of green, and 256 types of blue. And then when you combine them together, you get an overall of just over 16 million colors. Now the human eye can see more than 16 million colors. So the HDR is recommending the use of a new color space called Rec 2020. Now in Rec 2020, it defines an area that takes in about 76% of the visible spectrum. Now to get that level of color, we need to move beyond 8-bit encoding of the colors into 10-bit or into 12-bits. Now when you're in 10-bit encoding of color, there are now a thousand types of red, a thousand types of uh, green, and a thousand types of blue. And combined together, you get over a billion different types of color. Now to get the most from a HDR display, you need to watch HDR content. Now if a, a movie or a TV series you're watching is actually encoded using 8-bit color channels, then you can't invent those extra two bits to give you that extra color. You can't create something from nothing. So to actually have full HDR, you need to watch a media that's actually been recorded and encoded in 10-bit color or even in 12-bit color. Now, some video formats don't support 10-bit uh, color channel. So MPEG-2 uh, and the format that's used on Blu-ray don't support 10-bit color. But some of the newer codecs like H.265 and there are some profiles for H.264 which means you can have 10-bit color uh, uh, media. And so if you've got 10-bit color media, you've got the brightness and you've got the contrast, then you can truly say you are watching HDR content on your HDR display. My name is Gary Sims from Android Authority. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. A quick shout out to my colleague, Robert Triggs, who wrote the uh, HDR article that you'll find along with this video over at the androidauthority.com website. Please don't forget to subscribe to the Android Authority YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so you get a notification every time we publish a new video. And last but not least, do go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.